Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Sichamba Jacob. All right, so we've got this question right over here. It's an exam question. We need to find the inverse Laplace transform over S over S squared minus 4 S plus 20. So to find the Laplace transpose of this, we need to know these two properties. So the first property says that uh, when you've got e power a t this will simply be equal to one over s minus uh, a okay you see this is a property we need okay and you can see this is a constant which is right over here and it's found here okay the next property that we need is cos a t is equal to here it will give us a s over s squared plus a squared so these are the two properties you need for you to answer this question okay now apart from the properties we also need to understand the idea of uh, completing the square so completing the square okay i hope you've come across this word completing the square so completing 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 the square okay the square you need these two uh, the reason why we need completing the square it's because of the denominator here so we have to to simplify by completing the square let me copy it so this looks like this this is what uh, we have right here this is what we have as a denominator we want to 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 have two terms such that we can write them like this you see the two terms here so we're going to change this quadratic equation by using completing the square so that it looks like this so let me let me show you let me do completing the square so that you see so here how we do the completing the square method we just maintain the s squared term minus therefore s put the bracket put the bracket leave some space plus a 20 okay so now what are we supposed to do here to put here you check the s term here and get the coefficient so the coefficient which is at s term is a, a negative 4. Divide that negative 4 by 2. So always whatever number is here divided by 2. And it's giving us a negative uh, 2. Now this negative 2, square it. The answer that you get, you square. And this will give us uh, a positive 4. So now this positive 4, write it here. And uh, you subtract it eh, right here. Okay, you see the way it looks? So I'm, I've not changed the meaning of this because here I've added and I've subtracted, meaning this and this will just give us a zero, okay? Let me copy. We've got uh, S squared minus 4 S plus a 4, okay? So here we can even say plus uh, a 16. There are brackets here, plus 16. You see? 20 minus 4 will give us a 16. So now from here, if you're able to see nicely what is right here when we simplify or if you want this we can write it like this s minus 2 multiplied by s minus 2 okay what is here because when we multiply we just get to the, the stuff which is here or in other ways just get what is inside here say s and then get what is inside and please note that when using completing the square, uh, you must have a 1, a coefficient 1 here. So this can be like this. We can also write this, because it's a perfect square, we can write it as s minus, uh, s minus 2 squared plus a 16. You see, s minus 2, s minus 2. So s minus 2 squared plus 16. Okay. So now here, this is now our new denominator so you see right here we've got uh, s okay 
we've got uh, that's s let's say s over s squared minus 4 s plus a 20 so we know that this will just be s minus 2 squared plus a 16 so what is here and here are equal okay because we just found the denominator here to be equal to this and this is what i've put right here so now from here we can say uh, applying the, the properties, the properties we discussed about. There is that property which says that uh, when you've got e power a t, this will simply be equal to 1 over s minus uh, a, uh, a minus a. And if you can see nicely here, when you've got a denominator here like this, just know that this will be applied. Okay? It will be applied. So we can say equal to e, where there is a here, you see? Where there is a you put a 2, so it will be 2t, okay? From here, you get this, 2t. And then multiplied by. Next, I want you to understand, I'm writing these properties here so that you understand what is happening. The next property we said when you've got cos at, this is equal to s over s squared plus 2 squared, I mean a squared, sorry, a squared. Now, if you can see nicely what is here, if we write, or if we want, we can write this as equal to s, okay, over s minus 2 s squared, I mean, uh, minus 2 squared plus a 4 squared, because we want to have the squares like it is here, power 2, power 2. So, there is a power 2 here and a power 2 there. Therefore, we can say this, this is giving us uh, a cos. 4t cos 4t okay this 4 and t remember this property what is here must be found here and this is what we we have right here so we can say the the inverse transpose over this right here will be equal to e power power 2t multiplied by cos 4t this is our answer Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe. This has been Sichamba Jacob and bye-bye.